Hello guys, welcome back. You're watching Play of the J, and we're uh, looking at some of the PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City games for this evening. So we already played two rounds, and we're looking to play uh, round number three. So a couple of interesting games there. As uh, we did see in the first round, RRQ were able to take the chicken dinner and um, win a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Resurgence there. Um, but they didn't get far in the, the second round, uh, but Resurgence showing uh, very good... Uh, consistency there as they were able to take the chicken dinner but again it did come down to a one-on-one -on -one after they were jostling with team vengeance from malaysia so um able brax was able to to finish off the last remaining player there in that very frantic end to the the last circle over there and uh we did see team x sense manage to take third place in that round so Really looking forward to the, the next two matches that we have in store for you this evening, guys. And uh, now we will be moving to Miramar as uh, we will be uh, playing two rounds of FPP. So this will be round number three. And uh, looking at how things are going, it's going to be pretty exciting. So uh, we'll just get started in just a bit, guys. So just bear with us as we wait for the timer to clock down. And we are about ready to get started with this next round, guys. So, yes, uh, the first plane for uh, for Miramar is going to be uh, from uh, Valle del Mar all the way towards Impala. So, really cuts off a significant portion of the map, in fact. So, we'll see how that part is going to play out. So I do apologize earlier on, guys, because um, apparently it wasn't Boom Indonesia, which was team number two. It was, in fact, Team Ronin from Philippines. So um, apologies on that part, but I have been updated and I have updated the team list accordingly. So yeah, we do see that some of the teams are already opting to drop early. So Resurgence going for uh, La, Drill, La Drilla era, area. Uh, Gum Esports Yellow also opting to drop early here while we see Arrowwolf going for the Valle del Mar area and um, actually Entrov going here very close to uh, this is uh, Team Orion Ritter actually so Orion Ritter in very close uh, proximity as well and uh, oh no sorry this is actually Team Capcorn uh, Orion Ritter is over here uh, so looks like uh, things are going to shape up a little bit. RRQ deciding to go for this uh, region here of west of North Los Leones and actually not a lot of teams opting to go here. And uh, looks like they should have given the position of this circle here as uh, now we already see that uh, under W Club putting up a lot of fire here onto uh, these uh, teams that are still parachuting in and uh, hopefully they can use those anti-aircraft guns to the fullest extent but they are trying to prevent orion ritter from taking the vehicles as well but they should be able to rotate away from this zone easily now we usually see resurgence actually go for uh, picado here so it is going to be a little bit of a change here and uh, of course this is a scrim game here so it does give teams a lot of opportunity to try different things but zrocco here in a bit of trouble here as uh looks like dt yz might be down a player here quite early as uh he is caught out in the open here but so far chance not able to land more connections here but it's only going to be a matter of time Zorocco already looking as though that he's going to expire after he only has a sliver of health left remaining here but he's going to zigzag his way to potential survival here but looks like D-Bird D-Bid able to get that final thing and uh, looks like Entrov falling to the two members here from um, Team Capcorn so that's going to be it for him so uh, yeah, others are moving all the way north here. We see that uh, Team BMW have gone to San Martin over here and uh, have two of their players a little bit separated here as the rest of Mineski is uh, just south of San Martin. Now they do also like to go there quite a lot here. And um, now we see uh, more movements coming out as uh, we see that GG Easy have been taking spot over here. Um, 
on the very northern side of the map here. So they managed to secure enough vehicles here to help with their rotation here. So uh, most of the team's not inside the circle at the moment. So uh, Frostfire going here to Porto Paraiso. They do like coming here. Uh, Battle Arena Elites now having four players in this game here. And they should be uh, taking the whole of Impala for themselves. You know, we have see L Dogs here all spread around here. Uh, trying to loot up as best as they can. Trumachera will be uh, Team Ronin. Not, not Boom Indonesia, my mistake. So uh, this will be Team Ronin uh, currently occupying this area at the moment. And they do look as though that they have the, the lion's share of the loot here as there's no one around. Now Team Vengeance going all the way here on this uh, eastern side of the map. And um, they are um, flanked on both sides here by DTYZ who are currently uh, also uh, surrounding the extense players here. But... Ye's a little bit separated here, which could mean that it's going to end up uh, less ideal than they would have wanted. Mista is going to be around uh, the graveyard area, uh, very close to Minas Generales, which is currently occupied by MBT. Now, they are going to have to make their moves pretty soon here. Um, Mista is already moving further south here. They only have one vehicle secured for their rotation here. Now, they're not too far away from the zone, but... I think a lot of the vehicles would have been already uh, collected already by a lot of these teams as it is going to be incredibly important on Miramar as we do usually see that it's going to be quite a feature of uh, uh, quite a feature of, of the map that uh, requires that mobile mobility at these teams disposal now elsewhere we see that Kai SG is almost on top of uh, Yez here as he is uh, still very much looting up here but he if he's not careful Yez is going to surprise him and that it would be it for him now Ye's gonna come up here and shoot Kai in the back here so that looks like it's gonna be it for the extense player here as he's finished off rather early into this game now the CC members have separated quite a bit but now we see DTYZ here engaging with uh, Team Vengeance here as one goes down and uh, Alan Lembu uh, able to come away with that but he is a little bit injured Dubito uh, Dubi2 is uh, coming up from the roadside uh, and look to see whether or not he can uh, help support this fight as he looks to try and get off that, that roof flank here and uh, Taicho uh, taking some hits but he's able to put a number back onto Dubi2 here but now Alan Lembu uh, will be trying to put more pressure onto him as they try and find out where he is but uh, given the jumping here he has exposed his uh, presence a little bit here. As, uh, oh, he's able to catch uh, Dubi2 out here. And uh, Alan Lembu will be all by himself here as uh, he, his team, Team Vengeance, has taken two um, losses very early in this game. So I'm not sure whether or not they're going to be able to, to reproduce the, the kind of form that uh, got them the second place in the last game. But he's able to catch out um, Taicho. And that is going to be it for him in this game. But DTYZ does still have presence. Yez is still alive. He did pick up one of the extensive players as we saw. Um, but that remains to be seen how it's going to transpire. Now Mista is uh, duking it out with MBT over here. As we see that Ping Pong uh, taking a few hits after he's rotating into this position. And Asmix currently just trying to posture a little bit and get that clean shot onto him if he can. Um, Ping Pong. And taking a little bit more fire from this uh, direction here. So Asmix is just going to try and prevent further encroachment here as the rest of um, Mr. R on the move here. But it looks like uh, BAE duking it out with uh, Frostfire now as um, we see that one of the players going down uh, as they are making their rotation actually. So Loki's going to get caught out. Mystery Swinger not going to be able to help him too much in this situation as um, they are already a little bit far away but actually he, they might be able to catch him if uh, they're able to catch out early enough but it looks like Nobby is able to catch uh, Ping Pong, Pang and um, the rest of uh, Mr. are gonna decide to bug out here and not willing to take the rest of this fight but it looks like Vengeance here under more problems here after Ye is able to catch them out here as um, I think uh, I'm not sure if he's the last player for DTYZ uh, I think uh, he might be, but he picks up three kills in this game here as he looks to try and carry them forward into the later stages of the game. Now, uh, he will have quite a bit of loot there, but of course he will be a solo man in a squad game. So let's see how he actually decides to uh, allow that to dictate his play and choose his positioning. Others are already uh, trying to find a spot here and it looks as though that uh, Arrow Wolf is pushing into this region here as they manage to take down Snow Templar. 
or at least one of their players, leaving only um, Hax and Kaio left here in this region. I'm not sure if they started with four players or not. Um, no, they still have uh, three players alive uh, in the distance. Now, others are still making their way over here. We already see that uh, the Ronin players here uh, are moving down uh, towards this central region here as these teams try and bank on this region being a potential hotspot in the future stages of the circle but um but yeah others are uh taking fire here in rotation mbt uh after solidifying their presence here uh they are trying to do their best but yes actually um deciding to end his life early here as he, he takes a bow and uh, dtyz will be going out in 19th position uh, Tyler just trying to put up some long range shots himself, but not able to connect enough onto the Mista fellas here. But now there we do see on the eastern side of the map, this is turning out to be uh, quite the area for rotation here for a number of the teams. And uh, we see that um, L Dogs squad number 18 has made their move, as well as Team Extend squad number one. Uh, squad 10, Orion Ritter, is uh, also in the near vicinity, but not quite in their. Uh, full-fledged rotation here but they are going to try and catch out some of these teams here if they can um, but so far not getting close enough to try and put some shots they will try and knock down uh, Railgun here he takes a one hit but not enough to bring him down just yet as not enough c connections were forthcoming now elsewhere we are seeing others are making their way in gum esports uh, is moving in from the western side here as they take the coastal road to try and um, get as good a position as possible now looks as though that this region is becoming incredibly crowded here and these teams are really banking on the good fortune coming for them in this zone here now we see that the team members from extends here have taken up shop here in that warehouse complex now they are taking some long-range fire there is going to be uh, a little bit of nearby presence here as we see l dogs having finished their rotation here have occupied that uh their own warehouse uh in the distance over here now, the rest are still making their way from the northern side. Resurgence here have, are still coming from the, the northwest side here, but they might be going very close to the team members from Team BMW here. And that could put a spanner in the works, but BMW also in a little bit of transition phase here, and only Kane is going to be uh, left over here. But Resurgence not interested in taking these compounds. They do have their sights on uh, something a little bit better here as they move a bit closer towards the end of the... Of the line here but now under w club under pressure here as uh we see that they are duking out at long range with uh team ronin here but jatsu getting knocked down as uh Boutran able to get the headshot onto him and uh putting a little bit more of a squeeze now we see leander also um just trying to put up long range shots but they've managed to find out where Boutran is he's gonna have to play it careful how he's gonna uh try and peek out chow idol having just been res here going to get off the heel in uh, quick fashion here but mbt could be in for a little bit of a christmas present here as we see that the mineski guys here are uh deciding to rotate right through this zone here now they could have to be careful as nobby and tyler are already posturing on this side of the wall here but the other cars are coming here and more likely to attract some of the fire but the, given the terrain here is giving them enough coverage here to prevent too much uh, of shots com coming out here. But Nobby is going to try and do his best. Ace taking a little bit of a hit there. Now Aspects will be putting up some shots himself onto Ace. But not enough connections coming through here to prevent the, any of the downs coming on the Mineski guys. So now we see that the circle has shifted all the way to the, the northern side here. And uh, looking as though that is going to uh, favor uh, some of these teams which are a bit late to the party. Resurgence also not having fully rotated in here now that's going to be the thing guys if you do time your rotations right that is going to be uh just as the second circle is revealing itself if there's a shift like this um then it, you will be able to get ahead of the pack all these other teams are going to be in rotation and it's not going to really be as risky as uh you did see a lot of the teams going through this southern region of the map but now they are converging on los leones there is going to be a lot of real estate here that uh these teams can actually occupy which would be a very big uh, benefit into later stages but we could be seeing some urban warfare here as uh, I think last week in the or the week before for the Scrim City games there was a Los Leones finish where uh, things were quite tense and it really came down to the last few seconds of the match here so hopefully we get to see something exciting like that here um, but of course these teams will be looking to just try and um, take whatever advantage that they can in these situations but now 
uh, we see Ronin here putting pressure onto the team members of uh, Team Capcorn as they are trying to rotate through the southern region here. But now it's going to be uh, a decision for Ronin to make as well. Do we stay in this position or should we move further north here and try and claim those um, better spots? Now, Los Leones looking like it's going to be... Uh, Increasing its population size pretty quickly here as we see resurgence here quadro taking quite a few hits there from the RRQ players who are very much on the high ground and gonna try and prevent further advancement up through this zone So resurgence opting to just park themselves here for the time being and wait it out as um, of course a lot of the teams will be making their way in here but BAE in a little bit of trouble or taking a little bit of uh, fire here now from team Ronin as they are also rotating through this zone so that Warehouse Complex for Ronin has uh, offered them quite a good uh, field of vision here as they look to control the south uh, western side of uh, Los Leones on the outskirts. Now others are also uh, making their final moves here, but Frostfire a little bit separated here. Elliot and uh, playing by Uncle a little bit um, disjointed here as we see play by Uncle here is all the way here. Uh, but now under W Club facing a lot of pressure. This time they're running straight into Resurgence here. Uh, and it's going to be tragedy here as they lose two of their players here after they are uh, riding their bike here. And um, that's going to leave uh, under W Club under a lot of uh, pressure here. But then again, in the last game, we saw 2604 really wait out managed to make it into the top five as he managed to stay alive so he's they're going to stay on the edge here and not press the issue much further as there's already a lot of teams uh starting to occupy this region but the south side is still very much uh out in the open here but now we see that uh there's going to be a lot of trading of blows between uh um the players from resurgence as well as rrq as a swap get actually um headshot by the car 98 so he's gonna have to wait for uh Coppin to come and assist in that front now, they should be able to get him up, and they do have a couple split there, so they do have good angles there to prevent resurgence from actually moving on to the high ground at the moment. Now, elsewhere, we already see other teams making um, other compounds their, their homes. Now, we already see extents here uh, in the southeastern side of the circle. Well, we see that Orion Ritter here all the way on the eastern side as they try and hold up here against the potential opposition coming in from here. Uh, MBT in the northern side still trying to uh, stave off the challenge from GG Easy, but the next circle is going to reveal itself and it's very much a Los Leones circle, guys. So all these teams in the north, uh, Mista, MBT, as well as the GG Easy guys are going to have to make their way down pretty soon here um, as they try and lock down this, these spots. But Resurgence and... Uh, RRQ might be able to have some of the long range fire. So they are making that quick rotation in. Uh, other teams here are also trying to make the rotations as we see Ronin here trying to put more squeeze onto Team BMW here. Who are uh, going to try and uh, move further south here just to escape a Woshi Jason here taking a little bit too many hits here and Jawi Cute actually able to blow up the vehicle there and take the kill there for Team Ronin. Now elsewhere we see the Arrow Wolf here trying to stop further rotation here coming out from the players of uh, Orion Ritter as um, they're trying to just uh, manage the situation as best they can. Arthur Crosby is a little bit separated here, so they have to be careful how many of these fights they that they actually might do take. Now, the rest of uh, Orion Ritter is starting to make their move here as they move through this zone and uh, looks like uh, they're aware of the presence here from Airwolf after Vinny was able to communicate to them the, their presence. So they managed to take a little bit of a safer route here. But now Airwolf will be on the move here as they look to reposition themselves into a better um, better situated area. Now, elsewhere we see MBT disengaging from the north after we see the team members from GG Easy also having managed to move a little bit to the south uh, southwest from their previous position. And they are all taking up positions inside the circle. But Extents moving in a bit late here uh, together with Capcorn as they opt to try and play on the edges here. Because of course the danger from... Uh, Los Leones here is that there could be any number of teams hiding in any of these buildings here. Played by Uncle trying to get the drop here onto the team players of um, Orion Ritter, but unfortunately he meets his maker in the process. Now, others are moving in. Ba um, Batman and the rest of BAE are also moving in from the southwest, and uh, they should be able to get over okay. There's only Jowie Cute here. Won't be able to put up uh, an, a lot of fire here to prevent this rotation from coming in. But now it looks as though the rest of Ronin will be consolidating their position here. Now, 
in the northern side, we still see that there is a little bit of a standoff still between the team members of RRQ and uh, Resurgence here. But looks like uh, Aeon able to get a headshot onto Cop in here. So that's another helmet gone here. But the good part about these circles, guys, is that there's going to be uh, lots of loot still in this whole uh, Los Leones region and gives these players opportunity to get new helmets and, uh, and armor. But now it looks like uh, Huey uh gonna also uh face his end as he tries to take down uh mad dog but he gets uh taken out leaving 2604 all by his lonesome again for under w club but let's see how far he can make it in this round as it is already very congested into the center of uh los leones here as the blue circle is almost finished but it looks like um we meet the end of um Team Capcorn as they were fighting it out with uh, Team Extens here. So Extens losing or getting two of their players knocked, but they should be able to get the res off just in time here. But the blue zone is going to make things difficult here. And um, they are very much on the edge here. But now it looks like, oh, the rotation coming in from Battle Arena Elites here. Um, met straight with Gum Esports Yellow, and they are able to take them all out in a quick flurry there. And... Um, that's going to be a little bit unfortunate for them as they were just trying to find uh, a good spot in Los Leones for, for a little bit here after a lot of these teams from the south were pushing up. But now the circle has hard shifted uh, a little bit to the to the western side over here and all these teams are going to have to move through here so it's going to make it for very interesting uh watching here as we see them duke it out in the moment but now we will see like um resurgence here going to have to see how the rrq guys are going to disengage here before they decide how they're going to maneuver but they're going to try and press the issue deploy a couple of smokes themselves and they're going away with their own vehicle here as uh quadro and brax taking a few hits uh, as they're making that, that move over to the next compound. But they should be okay. RRQ haven't moved around too much. They are still in the circle a bit, but they are trying to consolidate their position. Uh, but Valdemore is a little bit far farther away here. But there is uh, going to be uh, quite a lot of teams in close proximity. You see squad number 11, that's going to be um, Team Mista. As in, uh, Team 9, which is going to be uh, Mineski, is also there as well. But now we see Arrowwolf duking it out as uh, they are facing a, a very... Close push here from uh, Orion Ritter here. Now, Exagon will be uh, uh, in a safer position as Arthur Crosby gets eliminated here. Now, the nade's just coming out from Kaito here as he tries to push these guys away a little bit here. But they are starting to press the issue here. And uh, looks like Kaito will be trying to do his best here. He knocks out one, but he's not able to get burning. Uh, but he's able to get... Uh, or rather, uh, it was a bit of a TK action there, and uh, Philip goes down there in that situation. But now all these other teams are moving into the circle here. Actually, the Southern Complex vacated by Team Ronin as they move further north here. Now, others are going to try and do their best as uh, Gum Esports does move a little bit further north here. Try and get that more central position here. Now, if they can exert uh, their uh, territorial advantage here, they can really force all these other teams to fight each other. There's this big ridge here, which is going to make it very difficult for all these teams to actually move it down here. So the blue zone is moving in. Um, they do have some time, of course, because the next phase will, will probably exclude these teams from this side of the circle. But it will have to be... Uh, something that we monitor very closely uh, to see how it's actually going to uh, play out. But we already see that um, squad 18 uh, L dogs here. Very close and uh, looks like a big battle here between uh, Mineski and um, MBT here. As uh, a lot of players are going down for each side here. Rexon, the last player, left up for MBT as he tries to maneuver his way a little bit further. Uh, to just try and get away from the situation. But he gets eliminated by the rest of uh, Mineski. As um, now we see that the um, looks like there's more third party action here as Orion Ritter here looking to get in on some of this action here as uh, currently uh, there are players down for all sides here. Burning going to be the last player up here for Orion Ritter. He primes the nade here and uh, whether you can confirm the, the kills there, no, he won't be able to. So it looks like L-Dogs should be able to get their full squad back up here as they eliminate them in thir um, as uh, they go out in 13th position. Now we see Resurgence has disengaged a little bit from their previous position. They are still very much uh, at that, that compound that they have moved over towards. But they only have three players left here. As now there is the potential challenge coming in here from GG Easy. GG Easy um, starting to take out spots on the outskirts of this compound at the moment. As they look to try and uh, catch one of these Resurgence players out uh, by surprise. Currently they are all inside the zone. So it's not really going to be that bad. But now... 
uh, people exerting their influence, we see that Mista here, having occupied this multi-story office building here, are trying to put some long-range shots. But now Mineski has got a 2-2 split going here as they look to try and get coverage and gather as much information as they can. Um, but now the circle is going to start shifting very soon here. And uh, looks like it's very central, so these teams are very uh, happy for that to actually happen because if it didn't include this ridge line here, they would have been in a lot of trouble. But now we see that Elliot might uh, be in a spot of bother here for uh, Frostfire as uh, oh, currently he's got quite a nice spot here. And I don't think that the Extense guys are going to be able to find him just yet and uh, now they will be moving onwards there. So is it Elliot just going to... Wait it out just a little bit more as he tries to wait and see how this is going to develop. Now Ronin still occupying this own factory complex here um, and trying to contend with the 2-2 split that uh, GG Easy has got going for them. But more than happy to just uh, wait it out carefully here and just protect this compound from any further encroachment by other teams. Now we already see that... Um, Mineski here has reunited with each other and decided to, to move a little bit more here along this um, eastern edge of the circle. And uh, we already see L-Dogs here uh, also still back up to full strength now after they managed to get those two players up after that fight with Orion Ritter. Now, the question is whether or not they're going to run into the players here from uh, Team Extents. But from the looks of it, I think that they should be quite careful or quite safe for the time being here because uh, Team Extends here has their own problems to worry about here as they're just looking up to hold up inside these compounds at the moment and uh, just get a little bit more information. Mind you, they were one of the teams that started furthest from outside the circle, so they'd be looking to try and gather whatever information that they can at this stage. But now with this new circle, it's going to put a little bit more of a squeeze onto GG Easy over here. They still can uh, stay on the periphery of this, uh, this compound for now, but it should still be okay for them as uh, they do have a couple bikes still at their disposal here. So if they need to make a quick getaway to one of these other compounds, they can. But at the same time, they want to keep an eye on Resurgence and restrict their movements here. But now looking at how uh, GAM Esports here, they have managed to um, combine together uh, and not deciding to go with the 2-2 split anymore as they look to try and control the center of this circle as best they can. Um, other teams are moving in here. We see that two players here from Snow Templar are separated here. They are just trying to squeeze themselves in here and just survive into the later stages. But now we got more and more teams getting uh, very close to one another. For these teams to actually make it through into subsequent circles, they are going to have to um, decide what is their strategy uh, disengaging here. But Ace takes a headshot from uh, D Bird here. D Bid, sorry. As uh, Ace goes down here, the rest should be forthcoming from the rest of Mineski guys. And uh, maybe in that building, they will be able to get another helmet as well. As he really does need one after that, taking that hit rather. So now we see that two players from GG Easy having moved a bit further south here, not wanting to uh, bank all their cards onto that uh, engagement with Resurgence here. Now, next circle is going to reveal itself and it's further central, guys. So all these guys here on the eastern uh, side are going to have to start making their moves pretty soon here as they try and uh, come out with it. But ZB over here uh, just trying to spot out Grism here, not able to catch him, but... Uh, Chan Chan actually takes uh, a hit here after uh, Railgun able to get him with the nade here. And now it looks as though that Chance is the last player here for L Dog says he tries to survive. He's going to try and get his uh, teammate up here, but so far looking like they're in dire straits at the moment here. There are still 12 teams live and 35 people, guys, so it's going to be interesting to see how that one uh, plays out for the rest of this because. All, there's going to be a huge drop in players as they're all going to make that make that mad rush from the northern side here. Now, elsewhere, we see that Ronin has uh, occupied, or rather, they're still occupying this uh, compound here. So they've been lucky that um, this warehouse has been in here, but they're controlling the space here. It's not easy for teams to move into these surrounding areas. And we see um, rotation coming in here from... Um, from the team members of uh, GG Easy as they're trying to push this compound occupied by Gum Esports. They get True Tom down, but that's going to be about it. But Unexpected going down himself. Now, Pika going to be pushed away a little bit here after he takes a, a little bit of nade damage himself after able to deal some himself. But now it looks like a Resurgence here um, still inside this compound here as uh, they're facing a lot of problems here. Um, as the push is very much coming from uh, RRQ, they are trying to get the players down. 
Rax has gone down, Quadro is on the high ground uh, and with Aeon in the back room. Now Zalman is just trying to push in a little bit here. Now it looks as though that their rivalry is continuing to uh, progress here as uh, looks like Aeon uh, under more pressure but he's able to get the drop onto Valdemort here. So it's whether or not he's able to spot Zalman here as the last player for uh, RRQ. He takes a few hits but he's able to back out just in time here. But he's now able to get A on WCS, so it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one between Quadro and uh, Zalman at the moment. So they try and finish it. Quadro takes a little bit too much of damage there, and Zalman able to finish off uh, Resurgence. So Resurgence going out in 8th position here. But in that um, bat those battles here, we did see that um, L-Dogs are finished as uh, we see Mineski pushing onto their position. But we see now that there is further advancement coming in here from the team members of uh, GG Easy as they are looking to put the smackdown onto Gum Esports. So the smoke's really working well for um, team uh, GG Easy as they were able to make that effective push into here. Um, now, there are only going to be five teams left, guys, and we have dropped straight down to 13 players left alive. So Zalman, the last play for RQ. Um, looks like Mineski still four players up strong, but Ronin here also four players up strong as they look to return fire here as uh, half of their compound is outside the zone. But now looking at things, GG Easy going to be in pole position here as they still have three players up here, but they have good position in the circle. How Mineski and uh, Ronin disengage here and move into the circle is going to be the, the next main thing that we see in this game here, as they look to try and um, get in without taking too much damage, there is a, enough natural cover that it will actually prevent them from uh, being able to shoot at each other too much. But it looks like uh, Ronin might have a bit more of an issue in terms of uh, actually being able to disengage and get inside the zone. Now, Mineski is slowly moving on this area, and they do have a lot of uh, FOV cover from the team members of uh, GG Easy, as currently that compound doesn't really offer uh, too much vision onto these uh, high ground levels of the western side of Los Leones. Zalman just going to wait it out a little bit on the northern side. Now, Azarino holding up the flank here, just in case the team members of Team Ronin start moving in here, and Team Ronin is making their move. They have made a smoke train here as they look to try and get in here. Kayo is all the way on the periphery uh, as the last player for Snow Templar, but he's going to have to run in pretty quick here if he's going to try and make a dent into this game while Zalman is coming in from the northern side. But it looks as though Momonji is going to be able to catch out uh, Kayo there and he gets eliminated there as he moves in quite late into the circle. But Azarino here are going to hold up on the high ground here and just wait for these other teams to, to move in here while um, the rest of Mineski are in this uh, concrete structure here. But now it looks like the, the rest of the players from the Team Ronin, squad number two, is moving in here. And it looks like CJ able to get some third party action and take out Ace here as uh, Zalman was uh, very much uh, Ace's focus for that point in time. But now we see that the team members from uh, Team Ronin have decided to come down a little bit here. Azarino will be trying to see what kind of shots that he can get for Mineski in this situation. But now they are reduced down to, to three players. But Mineski got 10 kills to their name. So looking pretty good here. Legacy leading the way with five. But uh, Azarino has to be careful here. He's focusing a lot on Zalman here. Who uh, currently all of... Uh, Mineski are focused on, but now we already see the further advancement coming out from uh, Team Ronin here as they look to control this uh, higher ground here and really make it difficult. But Grizzom getting knocked down by Zalman here as he is a big thorn in Mineski's side here. So, um, really not looking too fantastic for Mineski after they take two losses there from their team member CJ, able to finish off Grizzom there um, and stealing the kill in a way. But now things are getting heated up here, guys, as uh, we see Mad Dog and the rest of... Um, yeah, we see Mad Dog and the rest of uh, GG Easy here have the circle here. So they can try and put up a lot of pressure, but Jowie Q able to come up with a headshot. And uh, that's going to be a, a, a put a real dampener on the plans for GG Easy here. As now they have to actually um, get their teammate up or at least try and cover him as best they can here. But now the push is coming from... Uh, from Ronin after they get the pick there. And Chisi Kimbap coming around the side here, able to get the knock onto Momonji. Now it's just going to be CJ alone by himself for Team uh, GG Easy here. As uh, he tries to prevent them from further advancing, but I don't think that he's going to be able to stop this four man strong push here. And um, there still are the two players for 
um, Mineski here in the concrete structure as uh, they are still a little bit inside the zone at the moment. So it could be interesting. CG going to stick to the dumpster for the time being here as um, now things are going to heat up a little bit. Now this is going to be the last circle guys. So it is only going to collapse after this and really make for an interesting finale here. As now we see the push is coming up along this side from uh, Joey Cute here and the rest of uh, Team Ronin. Now CJ just carefully hit in there. So it's probably going to force these uh, other two bigger teams to actually face one another uh, before anything else but now space is getting incredibly restricted here as we are coming to a close now they are going to just try and control the space they do want to try and gather as much information uh, as uh, the Mineski uh, team haven't actually been shooting too much after losing two of their players so the the exact location and whereabouts of these last remaining players is going to be an interesting um turn of events if they can spot them out. Legacy also just trying to get some good vision here and, and uh, see whether or not he can add to his five kills that he has already with um, Mineski's total of 11 here. But um, now looking at things, it is going to collapse on itself pretty soon here. Uh, Team Ronin already have eight kills here. If they can pull this off, they can probably gather another three here and um, have a really good total. But Jatsu getting knocked down and Azzarino able to get a nice headshot with a mini 14 there. And uh, CJ just really biding his time for the time being. And um, now Le Leander also uh, trying to get his heal off as well before he actually has to push. So this is going to be the time that you pull out all the stops. It does look like a very neutral uh, finish here. But of course, Leander here is going to try and take the initiative here as he pops out. But Legacy able to knock him as well. Um, now, if they can... Uh, ooh, there's some nice smokes going on here. They should be able to get into the center of the map here. And Cheesy Kimbap will have uh, that pull position to uh, try and uh, hear out where the rest of the opponents are. But Azarino and Legacy are going to start moving in very carefully here. Legacy has managed to position himself very well on the high ground. Now CJ is going to have to make his move pretty soon here as he starts taking damage here. And Jari Cute here is able to spot him. He goes through the blue, but that's not going to be enough here. As we already see that Legacy here has revealed himself to be on top of the hill here. But he's a kebab here, able to catch Azarino out. Uh, and looks like it's going to be Legacy versus four members of... Uh, Ronin here as he's going to run out of space here and uh, but he's able to knock down cheesy kimbap here but he's going to take some damage here as uh, this oh legacy really coming up big here and there's only uh, Jatsu here but that's going to be enough here and uh, he really tried his best there for Mineski but unfortunately he wasn't able to come out with it and it looks like uh, Ronin is going to win round number three of this evening guys so they haul 10 kills there after they controlled their territory very well they started to move um further north only later on as during the later circles and mineski was a bit stretched there as they had a little bit of a split going on and they took some third party action as zalman from rrq was able to knock down one of them uh while the rest of um uh yeah while well, the rest of the the players from ronin were advancing further up north and uh, moving with very good squad cohesion and they encroach onto that territory that um gg easy just won over from uh uh gum esports yellow so i mean that was a great turn of events they really timed the pushes very well in that sense now legacy coming up big for uh, mineski able to turn out six kills as they put a number of finishing touches onto some of the teams including L Dogs in Los Leones. And uh, in third place, we have um, GG Easy. So CJ leading the way there, um, really staying alive to the very end there. But by the time that he was going to get out of the dumpster, uh, he was spotted out by uh, Jowy Cute there. And then it was only going to be a matter of time. So he was able to stay alive right to that uh, stage in the game. And he goes, they go out in third place. And in fourth place, Zalman was able to stay alive for quite a while again here. Unfortunately, not like round one where he was able to clutch it and get the chicken dinner, but he managed to um, put a little bit of hurt and be a thorn in Mineski's side there, reducing their uh, chances of winning in the, the final stages there. So, uh, yeah, and then, of course, we had uh, Kayo, as the, I think it was Kayo, as the last player for Snow Templar. So he was able to make sure, like, he was able to stay alive, um, but he, he got caught out pretty quickly by um, GG Easy, and that was going to be it for him. So guys, that is going to be round number three. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I know that there is a, maybe a little bit of a stutter or something on uh, Twitch here. So I apologize for that one. Uh, I think it's 
something to do with the bitrate upload not being uh, consistent enough, but I will be relooking at the settings for that. But otherwise, if you are enjoying yourselves, you are enjoying the content here on Play of the J, please do give the Twitch channel a follow here just to be kept up to date of when I go live next here with my commentary of live um, scrim games. So again, thanks for watching so far, guys. So we'll be taking a short break. When we return, we'll come, come back for the fourth and final round for today's evening matches. So do stay tuned.